What's up guys? Uh, sorry for the little mark on my forehead. I smashed my head into the side of the pool the other day. Um, but I didn't catch it on camera, so we're okay. Uh, anyway, I have some work I need to do before I can actually get into the subject of today's vlog. So, let's go do it. Why not? <laughs> Yet again, I spent most of the morning doing work, moving furniture, and setting things up. And then two seconds ago, it just like blasted down rain, like. Okay, checklist done. Okay, so sort of the topic of this video, and probably why you clicked on it in the first place, is I'm gonna title it something like, uh, you know, is our action cams, or is the GoPro, a valid shooting camera in 2021? And the simple answer to that question is yes. The not so very simple answer to that question is it's complicated. Something like this GoPro Hero 7 White can never and will never replace something like my Canon EOS RP. The image quality of this camera is superb. The depth of field when you zoom in on something is insane. The image color quality is fantastic and the audio quality, if you've gotten a good microphone, is fantastic. And you can't really do any of that with this GoPro. I filmed a lot of today's B-roll on the GoPro and recently I had stopped using the GoPro and this is because I got the Canon EOS RP. Now the image quality and sound quality on the RP is significantly better than on the GoPro and it works much better in low light as well. But the thing is that I realized is they have a different look. And the GoPro is still valid because it gives GoPro looking footage and because it can go places that you aren't gonna wanna take your major camera. The major upside is it's so small. You can easily just mount it, you can work with it. Today when I was moving furniture, I could just shoot a little bit, stuff it in my pocket and keep going. This camera, not so much. It's much harder to try and move around with the RP. It's huge, it, you need to adjust the tripod, then it falls over and you gotta go get it. And it's just, it can be a huge logistical nightmare trying to get it to work for just a simple shot. And it's especially hard when you're trying to actually do stuff besides just film. So that's why I've started using the GoPro again. Because it's so easy and so portable and just nice to use like that. And I'm not afraid of taking it in the shower, taking it to the pool, taking it to the beach, throwing it in a blender and making a smoothie. I feel a little bit more free with it, although the image quality isn't gonna be quite as good. Now, there is something to be said about the actual GoPro type look. It looks very raw, like you're really in the moment, in the situation, part of the vlog, part of the story. And sometimes with the Canon, I feel like I can get a little bit distant. Like it sort of feels like you're the viewers, you're staying there, 
I'm way back here. But with the GoPro, it really feels like you're in the heart of the action when you watch the video. And that's what I love about it. Is the GoPro ever gonna go back to being my main camera? Absolutely not. I love my RP. I'm gonna keep using it. I cannot believe how good it is. And it's taken my cinematography to a whole nother level. But this is still a very valid filmmaking tool. I would never recommend buying this over this. But if you have this, I would highly recommend getting one of these. Get yourself a good action camera and you'll find that you use it more than you think. Yeah, that's pretty much the wisdom and the insight and all that in this vlog. I'm hungry, I wanna go get some food um, and I need to still edit the vlog that I was working on this morning and hopefully it'll be up and posted by the time you see this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in the next video.